Now, welcome back. Today's video is all about snow foam. Well, specifically, the order you use snow foam. See, my mate Joe asked me why I put the snow foam on first and then rinse, whereas he rinses snow foams and then rinses again. And he watched someone like the Detail Geek on another YouTube channel, whereas he will rinse it all off, snow foam and then wash without the rinse step in between. Which is better? Well, Joe's idea was why not do a comparison video, so that's what I'm going to do. And my thoughts are that you put the foam on first, it softens up all the dirt, and it helps raise the dirt off the bodywork and encapsulates it in bubbles effectively, helps it run off. Uh, so it softens the dirt up when you come to do your pressure wash rinse, and it lifts some of it off as well. Joe's thoughts were, well actually, just pressure wash it anyway to clean it, and then put the foam on to do a bit more cleaning once the heavy soiling's gone and then you're rinsing it off and then you've done both bits. The downside to that is, and this was his observation, that the foam doesn't really dwell on the car. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to go down the side of my car, front half is going to be snow foamed straight onto the bodywork as it is uh, and then pressure rinsed off after a five minute dwell. The rear of the car is going to be pressure rinsed off then snow foamed, five minutes well, and blasted off again. And we're gonna see if there's any differences in the results. So yeah, uh, foam that's gonna be used today is, as my normal uh, built hamburg auto foam, it's a particularly good cleaning snow foam as well. So other ones such as, I don't know, I used to use Valet Pro uh, before, it didn't do much cleaning, it did good like softening up the dirt for when you blasted it off and stuff, but it didn't actually do much cleaning on its own. Uh, whereas uh, the built hammer does do a fair bit of that. I'm also going to spray it on to the wheel rims as well to give it yeah, a bit of a test to see if that makes a difference or if it helps with cleaning the crud off those rather than just giving them a pressure wash blast before I then go and wash them with the wheel cleaner. So yeah, a couple of bits to test and uh, hopefully it's of interest to you. So without further ado, I'm going to have a costume change and we're going to crack on. See you in a bit. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we've got the car set up. I'm going to do the back half with uh, the pressure washing rinse first and then foam. And the front half is going to be foam and then pressure wash rinsed. So the first half is pressure wash rinse, foam, and then rinse again. Second half is just going to be the way I would normally wash a car is foam first and then leave it to dwell and pressure wash rinse. See what the results are. Eh? You may notice here that I'm uh, using a bent lance, it's a 30 degree bent on this quick release lance. It costs about 10 quid off Amazon, uh, I don't see why there are ones on there that cost 30 because it does exactly the same job, it's really good, great on the wheel rims. bit of footage here really shows you just how much more the snow foam at the rear of the car is running off versus the front. That just means you've got far less contact time for the product and means it's going to do less work, be less effective. Look at this, Joe. I think I've saved you at least three minutes on the whole car by uh, not foaming first, eh? Well then, to answer that question, uh, does foaming after you rinse provide any better performance than before? Hmm. exactly the same. So to that point, you don't need to rinse first, Joe. Just go straight with the snow foam. <sighs> right then, on with the rest of the car. 